Welcome to a short bite-wise video about citation searching for research. Citation searching is a complementary technique to keyword searching and allows you to use references you have already found to locate other books and articles that might be relevant to your research. There are a number of reasons why citation searching can be a particularly valuable tool for researchers. Firstly, it allows you to find additional material that may be relevant to your topic. This might include research from other disciplines or articles which have been indexed using different keywords. Secondly, it can also help you to evaluate the importance of a paper based on how many times it has been cited, although you need to be aware that not all citations will be positive and very recently published work may not have been cited yet. Thirdly, it allows you to identify key papers in your field and the authors who have contributed the most to your area of research. Finally, it can help you to follow the development of an argument and see what happened next. There are several databases and search engines that you can use for citation searching, including Scopus, JSTOR, PsycInfo and Google Scholar, but the one we're going to look at is Web of Science. If you're not from a scientific discipline, don't be put off by the name, as this database is multidisciplinary. It is worth noting that some of the features we will be using may not work in Google Chrome, so we'd recommend using another browser, such as Firefox, Internet Explorer, or if you're a Mac user, Safari. You can access Web of Science either by searching for it by name here, or from the databases page on the library website. As with all subscription databases, you'll be prompted to log in with your Warwick username and password if you have not done so already. The Web of Science search page gives you the option to explore a number of different databases, but the default setting, Web of Science Core Collections, will give you access to the most powerful search tools. For this example, we're going to look for research on citation searching and bibliometrics. By default, the results are sorted by publication date, with the newest first, so let's start by resorting them, according to the number of times they've been cited, from highest to lowest. This open access article on journal ranking looks as though it might tie nicely in with our search topic, so let's click through and see what other articles we might be able to find using this as our starting point. You can follow citations in two directions, backwards by looking at the earlier works cited within the text, or forwards, looking at where the article has been cited by others. If you want to see which articles have been cited in the current paper, click on the Cited References link. Web of Science will then display these as a list. Going back to our original article, you can also follow the citations forward and see where other authors have cited it subsequently. This particular article has been cited 72 times, and again you can see these results displayed as a list by clicking on the link. You can also create a citation alert if you want to keep track of any new articles published that also cite this one, or click on View Related Records to see other articles that have cited similar references to our starting paper. As you can see, this is an extensive list of records, far too many to handle at once. However, Web of Science gives us a number of options to refine our search. We can search within the results, filter by only open access articles, or by subject category. These categories can be useful if you find that your search term is used in more than one discipline. We can see here that our paper has similar citations to papers right across the spectrum of subjects, but we have the option to do even more detailed analysis using the Analyze Results option. Here we can rank the records on our search lists by any of the fields used in the records. For example, we can look at papers from particular conferences that were funded by particular organisations or were linked to specific institutions. You can then decide how many results you want to see and whether you want to see the results arranged by number of records or alphabetically by the field selected. 